eating, eating. ass. Oh, Set yeah. Set it free, Andy. We wasted a lot of gold before the show started. <laughs> now, you were saying that during COVID, the most people, the number one thing that they lost was core strength. That's true. It was the biggest culprit of COVID. Because everyone's sitting at home doing nothing. Some people were just planking. That, yeah, think, for the first two weeks. You think Goggins was doing nothing? Yeah. And Jocko? Yeah, he was like, let's see how hard I could do nothing. <laughs> he was doing a lot. Supposedly, he had he made his ass bleed every day. Is that true? Is yeah. That- Goggins? Well, I'll tell you what like, I did. I run until my asshole started bleeding. I sat on the couch and looked at um, Twitter updates on death tolls. and um, that's I like how it. we're going back <laughs> to two years ago. Hey, what, have you, what were you doing? Hey, man, you brought this up. I know. <laughs> so also, we can we, get to the core think- strength bit <laughs> at the top of the show. And it went into death tolls quickly. <laughs> but we also, speaking of death tolls, we found the answer to gun safety. Which is black, by- black powder <laughs> weaponry. <laughs> No kids will ever shoot themselves by accidentally playing with their dad's gun. <laughs> it's true. Because by the time they load it, there's no way in fucking hell they're going to be able to do that. Also, you could hide the wads somewhere. You could hide the black powder somewhere and the gun somewhere. That's true. Yeah. And never shoot it again. Three different safes. Three different safes. One different hobby. If you have a home intruder, you better be quick at yeah. getting to all of it. Well, he loads it before he goes to bed, and then he he just empties the powder in the morning. Yeah, uh, down he puts the toilet. it back in. <laughs> <laughs> Do you sleep uh, in pirate attire? I sleep with one eye open. Whoa! <laughs> Clutching one pillow, eye patch on the other. Well, he had to go to the hospital that one day because he was sleeping in his sword. He had it in the sheath while he was sleeping. I was sleeping in my sword. You had the sword on your side. <laughs> I did sleep over. one time when uh, someone broke into our car, and I thought they st- maybe stole a house key that was in the car. So you slept you in the car to fool them? We couldn't get a new lock set yet, so like I slept in front of the door with a sword in my hand. <laughs> For how many days? For one day, then we replaced the lock. <laughs> Why'd you just put a chair or something on We did. We put, I put a chair, boxes, a bunch of bells... <laughs> what is this home alone <laughs> and then i slept what if a neighbor ca- i pulled the couch up close to the door slept on the couch with a sword in my hand what if a neighbor drunkenly <laughs> went into your place they would get stabbed sorted. Them. they would get sorted yeah. dude. whoa dude it's, sorry man it's murder but it was locked yeah you should have put uh super glue in your locks no clog it up so you couldn't get in no that's you're gonna, gonna replace them anyway well yeah okay but I didn't think of that. And I, honestly, that's probably a bad idea. How sharp is the sword? Very sharp. I've do cut sh- myself on it Do before. you sharpen it? Once a year. What do you, do you have the, uh, the strap? A, a whetstone? Yeah. But do thing. you dull it? Like, do you use it where you it dulls it? You have to sharpen it. It loses its... <laughs> just without even time. using it? Yeah, just from the course. air? Yeah. <laughs> that's true. Do you chop vegetables with it? Although there's an ancient sword from China that's like 2,000 years old and is still razor sharp. It's made out of this alloy they can't make anymore. Isn't that crazy? What? It's like basically a magic sword. Is it called, uh, <laughs> what's that, Neveridium? <laughs> Unobtainium? Yeah, that's it. You knew what I was saying, though. <laughs> I, I did a uh, James Cameron deep dive a few days ago. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, for the new Avatar release? Well, just finding out more about this man and how innovative he was. You know, he just went to, like, USC Library, and he just read books, and that's how he learned how to make films while he was a truck driver. Not only that, he also, like, paid for a submarine to go to the deepest part of the marina trench. Well, that was later. Yeah, I know. You say the did... marina? Yeah, the, the marina. Marion trench? The Mar- Marion no. Isn't it Mariana? What is it? Mari- yeah, Mariana? Mariana? Marianas. Marianas Trench. Marina Del Rey Trench is what you were talking about. I like how I felt real confident and smart for 10 seconds. And then he directed Piranha 2 for old uh, New World Pictures, yeah. Roger Corman. He did. He did. Secret of the Ooze, Piranha 2. <laughs> <laughs> what is that what it's called? No, it's Piranha 2, Legend of Curly's Gold. <laughs> That was the crossover he did with uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Van- TMNT Power. Vanilla Ice was uh, did a lot of soundtrack. What was the song he did on that? Was it that it was, one? Yo, Michelangelo, go get, eat that Ninja. pizza. It was, yeah, it's the Go Ninja, Go Ninja, Go. 
Dude, I went to a live taping of uh, American Ninja Warrior, and they said that over and over again in the crowd. It was Wait, f- what? It was like five hours. Is that their warm-up guy? Go, Ninja. Go, Ninja. Go. <laughs> He's uh, like, come on. Let's get the crowd pumping. Ninja. Ninja. Rap. Ninja. Was it on TV? Were you dancing? You were like, whoo. Yeah, I was like, whoo. <laughs> yeah, here we go. <laughs> Every time. Woo. Every time. It gets me going. Woo, big boy. <laughs> woo, look at big boy. This is a ninja song. God, I took a huge piss. I'm going to end up pulling an air and taking a piss. Is this vanilla ice cream? paid did were they playing it on air uh no probably not because that'd be good money for them play a five hour straight was it him they fly him in they filmed for five hours it was one episode robert uh, winkler it was uh roger corman no what's uh henry winkler what's what's andrew or what's bill and ice's name <laughs> what's andrew but <laughs> what's rob andrew van vice plays name rob van winkle is yeah. it really Rob Van Winkle? Yeah, Rob, because everyone in high school used to call Rob Van Winkle. Got to take a tinkle, and he's like, "I'll get you back." With great rhymes, <laughs> his story's crazy. He was performing like county fairs as a white rapper. <laughs> I know. <laughs> anyway, I had a weird dream. Well, tell me about it. Or are we gonna play the dreamy Terrifying. thing? You don't want to hear more about plank pose? Uh, do you have more to talk about? Nope. <laughs> I, did, okay. I, did, I think we're done. Did three minute plank pose. I want to hear about it. <laughs> yeah, talk more about I it. I want to hear it. That's well, it. Spend thirty minutes walking us through three minutes. <sighs> Who's the dreaming boy or girl? Who's the dreaming boy? With plank boy talk now. Yeah, but this is you. This is this your is dreams. dreams. Tell me your dream. I was out in the middle of nowhere in like Northern California, staying in a cottage. By the way, it had no door locks, Andrew. So you know what I did? I put chairs underneath the doors. Did you really? Yeah. I don't know. How don't nervous know. were you? I wasn't. Well, evidently I was because I had this dream. Here's the dream. Some. I'm at the motel. It's night. This is whatever. It doesn't exist anymore. But I'm looking out the back window. And there's this thing walking around in the backyard. And so it gets closer and I see it's like a chimpanzee meets a gorilla. Uh But it has the face of a man and it has horns and it has fangs and it's and it wants it's knocking on the back door. Dude, that's the devil. You saw the real devil. Is that true? Yeah, because the devil, the adversary is bestial in nature. Okay, so then I, so then whenever I was staying at this cottage, the devil came to me. You I saw, said this place you was You saw awesome. a Native American evil spirit is what you saw. This place was definitely had Native American roots. Yeah, dude. So then I lock the door and I run down the hall to get at my wife, Abby, uh-huh. and I go, hey, there's something at the back door. And then all of a sudden I look and he's, he's in the house and then yeah. he disappears. And I tell Abby, I said, you got to come out here and see. Dude, you thing. saw like a real, like, wh- where were you? Pacific Northwest? Pacific? <laughs> I was in the per- <laughs> Persimmon Pacific Northwest. Pacific? Were you in the Pacific Northwest? I was. Were you, uh, were you worshiping? You some- saw <laughs> fucking Native American spirit. Might have been big, thing. May have been Bigfoot. But it's not that even might, over. Yeah. Hey. Could be Bigfoot. It's, it's not even over. You so saw then a fucking gotta, spiritual wind to go. Gotta call Bobo. I know. Gotta call Bobo. What did your wife think so about no, this? Then, she thinks But no, here's powers. the thing. This, the dream's not over. So then okay. we're standing in the hallway, and I go, he's in the house. Then slowly, around the wall, he stick. He slowly sticks his head, and he's smiling, and you can see the horns and the fangs, and then he just slowly disappears back. Dude, you saw a real entity. You saw a real spirit <laughs> entity. And there was an earthquake that only me and this other chick felt. When did you feel the earthquake? Two or three in the morning. What day? Uh, it would have been Saturday night or Sunday. I That's can't remember. That's crazy because I thought one day this week I thought I felt an earthquake and no one else did either. Yeah, and she, everyone else said we were crazy. But so that so what do you think? Well, there was an you, earthquake in Alaska uh, th- last week and in oh, Chile at the was. same time. And a gorilla chimpanzee horned creature scene. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm Is jealous. <laughs> I'm jealous of O'Neill because he saw. I think you saw a real Native American trickster. I was god. terrified. You saw a trickster. God. He was trickster because he had a smile on. Yeah, his, yeah, like he was trickster. Smirk. He had the fangs. He's in your life now. Shut the fuck up! He's he's shut up! Life. You don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> he, the way he peeked you his head. Come on with you, bro. <laughs> dude, the way he peeked his head around the corner. <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> I'm saying maybe you just embrace it. Maybe. Well, I don't. He, he'll probably get tired of dealing with me. They say what this you, guy says. Wayley gets a load of me. They say 
<laughs> well, he gets a load of pee. They say when you. He's like the when it goes like, all right, I'm out. <laughs> what you dream in the Pacific stays in the Pacific. Yeah, it? good thing I wasn't in the Pacific <laughs> or the Atlantic. Have you, ever, <laughs> have you ever seen the movie Pacific Rim? Oh, yeah, it's per- a spin off of a Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim. Goes, guys, we got to get to the Pacific as quick as we. Pacific can. Rim job. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, this guy. I you saw I saw an unsolved mysteries where this woman had a was having a series of dreams in an apartment. Oh yeah, it's a good one. And then it turns out that this woman was abducted in the apartment she lived in, and the woman was like fucking with. They turned the lights on and off, and the little girl had an Ernie talking Ernie doll, and she took the batteries out, and it was still talking in the closet. And then she started uh, dreaming numbers and told the cops, and she was like. It was the exact mileage between where she lived and where they put her body. They think they didn't find the body, but so she was having psychic connection. That was the same one where this guy that That's kidnapped crazy. this girl for seven years had a woman living under his waterbed in a cabinet. And when I heard that, I was like, I'm out. This is fucking too much to take. And he put a wooden box over their heads. And they interviewed the lady. She was a lot. Can you imagine seven years? She spent 20 hours a day under the guy's waterbed in a wooden cabinet. Fuck that. Dude, I don't know how you... She seemed fairly normal. Well, then the little girl would look in her room, and she'd be like, hello. And the mom would be like, who are you talking to? She's like, there's a girl right here. And she's like, her name's My Liz. And the mom's like, what? And then the cops later told her the woman who lived there who was abducted, her name was Marliz. Oh, shit. <laughs> so so, so it wasn't the same at all. <laughs> I like what it feels like. No, I mean, that's enough. enough. That's close, that's close enough. enough. Yeah, that's close enough. That's close I, enough. I, I why did she have it? Why did she know 100%? You need to understand what you brought with you, this entity. <laughs> that's a part of you. I'm not worried. <laughs> Big trouble, little China. <laughs> By the way. Big I, trouble, little Pacific. I'm not worried. You know why? Why? Again, wait till this one Dingo gets a hold of me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a jokester? Guess who's a jokester around here? Why, are you going to blow farts in the microphone while the wind goes? Dude, but now that you say that, is that true, though? Because he was constantly smiling, and when he peeked his head around the corner, he smiled and then slowly God. retreated. You had an encounter with a Native American trickster spirit. Oh. I am fascinated by this, dude. Do you think it's it was- very clear in my head still, and usually dreams don't stay like this with me. This was as, as clear as day. I'm jealous. Honestly, I'm very jealous. You had a psychic dream with a psychic connection to the Native American spiritual landscape. We why definitely, you, there was definitely Native Americans. Why don't you hook up, uh, hook your brain up to his and maybe you can pass it over. I can what? only do that with you. <laughs> but he, who knows, maybe if you try. We can only do it with the numbers one through ten. <laughs> 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 but we may be able to do more. Do you, what do you think's in store for my future? I don't know, but I'm curious. You know what? I'm going to do a tarot thing right now and see what's going on with you. You carry what cards? Are you, you going to your phone? <laughs> going to my phone. <laughs> tarot phone tarot cards? App. What? Tarot app. What? Tarot app. What? Hey, hey, it's just as good as the cards. <laughs> oh, d- my wife would have a, she has a bone to pick with you. I have a bunch of real tarot cards too. Do you know what they call tarot readers, right? They're prop psychics. Okay, but whatever. That's what they call them. They have no respect to the psychic world. Is that true? They're the most, yeah. Have you ever seen Tarot Lives Matter? (laughs) Okay. So, anyway. (laughs) Anyway. Let me draw you a card, dude. Let's figure this out. Uh, It's an app, though. It's not even a real. Put your hand on my shoulder. What the fuck is this? It sounds like a weird way. Think about that thing. Think about that thing. I'm looking at him right right, now. What do we need to know about this? What do we need to know about this? What do you mean? I drew the eight of cups for you. Let's see what that says. Oh, boy. Wendigo. You may be at a turning point in your life. Ooh, that is true. Are you feeling as though there's something missing? Yes. Even though your circumstances seem fine on the surface? (laughs) Even though my circumcision seems fine? (laughs) Even though you feel calm and ready? Have you been trying to ignore a strong call to do something different? Yes. Maybe even something that seems like it would be a crazy choice? Yes. The Eight of Cups may indicate a dramatic change in a relationship or career that used to bring you satisfaction and no longer does. Yes. Or that it's time to walk away from your old safe life and into something new. What? That holds potential for future happiness. And I have a, now I have this Wendigo. Maybe the, maybe the Wendigo. We're going to do a podcast together. Maybe the Wendigo is showing you the way to embrace, maybe you're supposed to embrace your trickster god nature. Yeah, maybe I should do a movie called Wendigo Ate My Baby. 
Yeah, <laughs> you should. A horror movie about a Native American spirit called Winting going, and you say, we pay a lot of respect to Native American culture <laughs> in this horror comedy called Wintingo Ain't My Baby. I did, I did do a bunch of mushrooms during the day, and nobody else did. And then when it came dinner time, I was at this party. There was 12 other people seated at this table. And I was high as, like, I was hardcore tripping. Yeah. And it was a soup party. So I was eating soup. And Abby kept looking at me. And I go, you got to stop looking at me. And I just fucking lost it. I started dying. I, I was like, I got to get out of here. <laughs> I was fucking <laughs> losing my marbles. <laughs> <laughs> fucking. Because everyone's like, we're going to do mushrooms later. And I go, I'm doing them now because I want to go to bed later. Yeah, yeah. Because they'll keep you up on that. I just kept taking more and more. And then when dinner came. That's crazy. I did mushrooms too this week Whoa. i haven't done them in a long time i Pers- hadn't either what'd you do pacific it's been a year did pacific mushrooms 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 what is this wendigo trying to tell you o'neill he was trying to scare me but instead he intrigued me <laughs> that's how we're all gonna die you think, <laughs> you think he's uh maybe a member of the wendigo <laughs> girls we go follow the devil around the corner bro <laughs> Wendigo Girls? That would be a good lesbian uh, folk rock I'm sure band. there's a Wendigo Girls band, right? I saw the Indigo Girls once. I went to Lilith Fair hoping to hook up with chicks because I thought it would be all chicks. It was, but they weren't the kind of chicks. That were like for you, chicanery? <laughs> there's a Wendigo poem. It says, what is the Wendigo poem about? The Wendigo is a flesh-eating, wintry demon. <laughs> With a man buried deep inside of it. In some Chippewa stories, a young girl vanquishes the monster by forcing boiling lard down its throat, thereby releasing the human at the core of ice. Whoa. And that makes sense because I was also swimming in an ice cool pool. Yeah, you were making Wendigo connections. And the boiling lard was right there for soup night. (laughs) Yeah, too bad you didn't eat that soup. (laughs) To release the human inside the Wendigo. That is true. I mean, I was walking through the fields, the grapevine, the grapevine fields. <laughs> what just <laughs> trying happened? to summon them? Oh, dude, that's crazy. The man. wind to go herd it through the grapevine. Not much longer <laughs> will you be mine. I wish a you could get a uh, <laughs> on a, a wind to blow. <laughs> get that blow job. <laughs> from a wendigo a wendigo that's a scary blowjob i couldn't get hard for you a scary imagine, oh, with either. the horns and the face constantly looking up smiling what if it had titties <laughs> no, even if it had titties it'd be too scary what if it's the best blowjob you've ever had in your life all right you know how hot female predator looks there's no way if you take the mask off that could stay hard because it's too Wait, scary who's female predator the, the predator but it's a lady have you seen her is this in yeah. a real movie? Earl used to date her because he would do lines to it. <laughs> uh, you should have seen my last seen girlfriend. Pictures. I don't know she if it's sucked me alive. But like, I've just seen pictures of someone cosplaying and it looks hot as fuck. Jordan says, would you fuck the Wendigo if it was shaved? No, because it's too scary. You guys aren't... What if it was dressed as a grizzly bear? Here's the deal. I may want to fuck scary things, but my boner will be too nervous. Your boner's not... You're going to do the porno, Stranger Things. I get jealous of ladies, because ladies can get wet and scared at the same time. Were you, what so if you can fucking fuck Would like your boner be nervous? They're like, demons. is this pre-cum or sweat all over this boner? I have flop sweat on my penis. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Your penis is like hey, pulling yeah. at its collar. Going, oh, <laughs> hey, well, tough crowd. Hey, <laughs> hey, is this thing on? <laughs> oh, barely, barely shaking an orgasm out of this You're pussy. Like, rrr, 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 what do, rrr. I, do I have the light yet, or uh, oh? Uh, well, I'll leave you. This, I, I'll leave you with this one thing before I come. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Falcidon says, "What if it's a Wendigo dressed up as Andrew?" No, here's the deal. <laughs> Too scary. You guys that would be understand. even scarier. You with a smile on your face, just fucking or looking at yourself. Or it takes the mask off, and it's all, you're like, oh, it's old man Wendigo this whole time. Old it's man. scary, too. <laughs> what don't you understand about, like, I? no matter how much I may want Fine. to fuck scary Here it is. things. It's a hot Asian older woman you're in a trench coat. Like, hot Asian <laughs> Wendigo woman? Then when you're done, you realize it's been the Wendigo the whole time tricking you. To, uh, but get, what shape does the Wendigo alive? take? The it's, Asian woman. But then in the end, it comes back. And it's the devil. Yeah. Do I, Am I able to get out? Yeah, you can get out. Yeah. Then, yeah. Do you know how scary uh, it would be? <laughs> to, <laughs> then it's just a scary thing that happens after I fuck. Yeah. yeah you know how scary it would be to see yourself? It's like us. Like, if you saw yourself 
Like if you walked out in that warehouse and you saw yourself like up on those steps. Yeah, I would almost die. No, he would be like. Almost die from how. No, you would be like, oh, Yeah, you'd make a big pit in your stomach. You would stop and be like, God, I'm so handsome. Who's this stuff? 100%. After I got over the fact that it was terrifying, I would immediately go in the bathroom and suck my own dick. Jesus What if it was you and your hair was parted and you were wearing a suit and you looked like you were going to a job on Wall Street? Well, then I'd be like, do you have time for a blowjob before you make all that money? <laughs> You're like, hey, can we get married? What if you... I'll marry you. You come home. What the if baby. the other you was like, ugh, with you? No. So, I, uh, whatever. <laughs> the other me's not going to say that. The other me wants to say things I, I want. Well, it may not. You, you don't know not. that. Yeah. could be a completely different guy. It's never. You lived gonna, a different life. You're never going to get past... I used to draw so many comics of me fucking myself. There's no You're way like, I'm that, that it would have to be true. Do you know what would <laughs> crush you? You, have to. you would if tell. You, if you, in another universe, there's an exact you. He's wearing the same thing. But he had a completely different childhood. And, and you go, hey, you remember we used to hump the carpet? And he goes, that's fucking disgusting. No. It would crush you. Yeah, but why are you bringing that up? That made me so mad. Because <laughs> <laughs> you said that I'm haunted by the Wendigo now forever. Okay. How do I get rid of him? I don't know. You just need... What are you thinking So about? the other night when I was... Wa- well, I woke up in the middle... Because I went to bed at like 6.30 yesterday. Yeah. And I woke up at like 4 in the morning. This I got up... keeping Wendigo hours. To brush my teeth. <laughs> but as I'm walking by... Jocko Wendigo. <laughs> That's Wendigo lag. <laughs> but I have to turn the bathroom light off, then walk down the hall to get to my bedroom. And I pass another bedroom and it's completely dark and i felt like something was was like touching my arm as i walked by that yeah i was saying come in the darkness ryan yeah let me what things it could show you i'd be like seen it boring (laughs) (laughs) yeah but i can tell from your own face right now (laughs) this guy's terrified (laughs) do you have to see the darkness within to accomplish your new goals i might this, will it take me to see the darkness within? I don't know. That sounds like it's trying to is get Is this going to be like Dante's Inferno? I think it's trying to get you to look at the darkness. What are you trying to do? I got a site here, for? a site that removes spirits. <laughs> okay, we might have to do this. It's uh, They remove evil spirits. 100,000 plus people have been helped. <laughs> <laughs> What's the Yelp review like? You can remo- ah! you can book a removal session. Oh, you got to pay for this? You can book a checkup. You're just like, hey, just give me a checkup. Yeah, take a I'm look doing. under the Here's hood. Here's my question, though. You do a lot of mushrooms and stuff like that. You might have been, pr- and you do this. This was before the mushrooms. Yes, but you, as a person, do mushrooms all the time, okay? I do them once And a year. you do buffoonery like this. There's a spiritual buffoonery to what we're doing. Remember when they played? <laughs> you said we, we unleashed that fucking, something. We unleashed something. Yeah. When we then, played the uh, honestly the meatloaf. Bill Clinton Pelosi. We've damned our souls to the trickster god by this podcast. There's so you something think he's, there. He's finally entered my life. I, if it weren't for Beach Cops, I would say you need to get far away from this guy. But because of Beach Cops, I think this guy's like, hey, I got some tips for you. <laughs> <laughs> so you this think, guy's got you think, bits. You think he's peaceful? I don't think he's peaceful. Do you think? But he okay. wants to help. I he think stops. he wants us to be instruments of chaos. Tonight, in the world. when I because I woke up so terrified that my wife had to hold me till I went back to sleep and stroke me, so everything's gonna be okay. But I think I'm gonna try to make contact with him tonight intentionally. When I go to sleep, I will think oh, of him and try to make oh. contact and see what. Run exactly. this past your wife before you do it. I think she might agree because she's like, we gotta get this wind to go out. Of the house. <laughs> Who's, wait, it's a what competition. What a crazy way to end the dream segment. To be like, we gotta get this wind to go out. <laughs> Who's the dreamy boy, a girl? Aaron, do you have a dream or a nightmare you want to tell us about? Uh, I had a weird dream that a guy from a Facebook group came to our house and tried to kiss my wife. Whoa! <laughs> Are you watching White Lotus right now? No. <laughs> what, <laughs> what group was it? One of those like buy nothing groups. Oh, we're on a buy nothing group. Who's going to try to fuck my wife on that? This is buy nothing BI. Wait, what's a uh. buy <laughs> What's a buy nothing group? It's, it's where they you put stuff up there for, for free. free yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. You're trying to get rid of. Dude, he tried, and then what'd you do? You go, well, I guess he's You said me. I wasn't no, giving I my wife away. Ch- I was giving I chased a chased that dude down. You, <laughs> was, he, was he a hunk? No, no, no. Oh, he's a slob? Like, yeah, what did he look? Big, was he older? He was a big nerdy guy. Okay. Uh, <laughs> he wasn't to it. <laughs> no. I'm He's not like, on his I, I found that guy strangled to death, and it was you. Did you know him at all? 
<laughs> it looked like a guy I, I have met, yeah. Oh! Uh, by the way, is that guy in this room? Now? No, no, no. Okay. Has that guy made, uh, has he flirted with your wife or something? Never met her, never once. Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, did, were you, that is a good question, though. Were you watching White Lotus? When that guy started rubbing her leg, Dude, how crazy I was, was like, that? what the fuck? I know. He's going to try to fuck her. That's ins- that guy is insane. Do you think the Wendigo has any, someone made a comment, has any Pazuzu relations with all the Dude, the, Pazuzu's the a trickster demon, too. Like, <laughs> I, unfortunately, I feel like, unfortunately, we have been mobilized in the army of of chaos. <laughs> Dude, what if I see him look in the window right there and he just got to look? Well, right. I wouldn't even be surprised at this point. If a Wendigo, <laughs> like, with all the crazy shit. Wait, I can't hear myself. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, now you're, uh, now you're possessed. I trickstered myself. By unplugging my head. Oh, you didn't even. Did you step on it and pull on it? No. How'd it get unplugged? Trickster. Because I was looking right there. What the fuck? Let's open. see if something weird happens again. Go back to the tape, see if a blur happens. Uh oh, there's a guy from Facebook here looking for Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> He's got his kissing lips <laughs> on. He's about the size of a gorilla. He looks like a chimpanzee. He's, He's putting horns. He's putting chapstick on right He's now. He's got the voice of Bill Burr. Honestly, dude, I cannot get over the fact that you had a real spiritual encounter with something ancient. Something anal? No, something <laughs> anal ancient? <laughs> This guy can't That's help it. That's the chaos. It's the chaos. I know. Inside. He can't help it. <laughs> he can't we, should, help we should consult the chaos. Uh, then we have a couple chaos, chaos twins. Yeah, the chaos magicians. The Are chaos you there? Wizards. Qu- chaos wizards? What were you going to call them? Quizards. <laughs> Quizzards? <laughs> They're on a quiz show? <laughs> Are those... Are those queer wizards? <laughs> no, it was going to be chaos wizards, but I said them both at the same time. So what if a queer wizard is only into like sex with a specific type of creature? Or a specific type of wand? Well, yeah, maybe it's just a wand. That'd be a decent, like a, do they make vibrating wands? I think so, They yeah. have a vibrator called the wand. They do. It's That's a true. big, Damn hot it. seller. I just tried to copyright it and I got denied. I heard that you can't use those Hitachis too much or they blow out your pussy with um, nerve damage. You'll blow your yeah. pussy out. That's what Ralphie asked for for Christmas. <laughs> he He's like, come on, I want the Red Rider. <laughs> Red Rider Hitachi. <laughs> <laughs> All I want for Christmas is a brand new Red Rider Hitachi. Yeah, that's the Mariah Carey <laughs> like, You're going to blow your pussy out. <laughs> and then he does. Like, he goes outside. <laughs> he uses it on himself. And he drops an icicle right on his fucking pussy. And he's like, oh, I'm the nerve damage. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I got nerve damage in my pussy. And then you see a creature. <laughs> <laughs> then you see a Wendigo watching going, yes, Ralphie, blow yes, that pussy out. Yes, yes. Use it, touch it. Blow that pussy out. <laughs> nerve damage. Stick, <laughs> stick your penis to the flagpole. My penis. <laughs> your penis. <laughs> Pour some hot water on my penis. <laughs> Get it unstuck from the flag. Pole. The sexual wendigo. <laughs> the best kind. Oh, what if he you was put... a sexual wendigo? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen that video where the woman puts her pussy lips on the flagpole in the winter? No, is that true? Yeah. That's and then a... they trying to pull them off and it's like stretching. That's an outdoor. Ah, no. Is this real? <laughs> this is real. That's an oh, outdoor strip it. club in Canada. Yeah. It's, called, it's called Icy Pole Pussy. <laughs> It's, a, it's at a school. They use the flagpole. To, to, to a <laughs> yeah, it's one of the teachers. She goes, well, I'll put my lips up there. And that kid gets her all laugh. <laughs> and the janitor has to come out and help her. Ah, yeah, he pours hot chocolate all over her pussy. <laughs> and she gets a yeast infection from the hot chocolate. He, he goes, you know, the best way to do is lick, the, lick it until it comes off. And then he gets his tongue stuck. <laughs> and another guy goes, I'll lick it from the other side, try to get you both. Let's Classic uh, who's on first, who's licking the flagpole. Man. Yeah, but I think then there'd be enough humidity and moisture to get them all the way off, huh? And then it just turns into a big old orgy. get a bu- get all orgy three of them off. Pull. Guys, like, oh, thanks. I came in my pants. Amy said she stuck her tongue to the uh, to a pole. She says she probably should say flagpole. Uh, in winter, in the second grade, I did it when I was in middle school, and it tore. I I got scared, and I ripped the top layer of my tongue right there, like this ah, little bit, ah, like you could see the skin stuck <laughs> to it. What I should have done was just breathed on it. Yes, but I got I didn't believe it was. Everyone real. knows you cup your mouth around it and go. 
What if you? And they're like, "Hey, look, this guy's sucking that pole dick." What if you suck a robot's penis in the middle of winter? It's probably yeah. similar effect to a flagpole. <laughs> I just was curious. I used to have a bit where I said that. Uh, what robot are you sucking on? Uh, there you go. He got horny. Aaron's <laughs> <laughs> leaving. Got horny. Aaron's leaving. The we on. made him horny extra early. When did we start this thing? We started two minutes ago. I used to have a bit about getting a blowjob in the winter outside, and the chick's tongue stuck to my dick. Oh no! Because your dick is hot as fuck with all that's that blood. A joke. In that's it. why it was a joke. It wasn't a real thing. <laughs> it just sounded like it was you a were. Bit. Sounded okay. like you were sexualizing his penis, but you were talking about temperature. <laughs> like, oh no, it's so hot. <laughs> your, your penis is so hot, right? What if Aaron comes back in a gorilla suit? Ah, uh, with cum all over his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, Admiral Snackbar did the same thing in seventh grade. Then he ripped his tongue off the pole when he heard the bus coming because he didn't want people to see. And then he swallowed blood the whole way to school. Ooh, man. Ah, fuck I, that. Here's the thing. That's I don't, a good way to start the morning. You got wind to goad. I don't feel like your tongue ever fully heals because I don't feel like I tasted food the same. I feel like I left a couple of taste buds That's probably why you don't like eating pussy. Maybe that's why, because it's right on that spot. It reminds me of that pole. Same pole? (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry, your pussy just reminds me of an icy pole I licked one time as a joke in fucking middle school. (laughs) I had my tongue stuck to a pole. Turned out it was a dude. Hello! (laughs) Is that pole a dude or a woman? Uh, Dude, I got Ten body on that pole. Never mind. I was going to say something sexual, but it's too. It, there's no. What do you take out your it. sexual tarot app? I they make a sexual tarot. It app. says two cups and one girl. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the decisions. This represents a choice in your life. You could take a shit in one cup and or drink throw the up other. in the other. <laughs> I I read that two girls one cup was fake. I did. He said he put ice cream up their butt, soft serve yogurt or something. Well, like they that. said that they actually shit and then they cut and then they're eating soft serve. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's what I read. Actually. And I was like, nah. I don't know. It's like in Three Amigos when they find out they didn't get little sick. Nettie couldn't shoot as well as they thought. No, he did shoot as well as they thought. Yeah, but they, that is nasty. That two girls one cup thing, man. You didn't like? Oh, it. really? Yeah. You thought that was gross? Eating duty? <laughs> is that where you draw the line? Hot take for Andrew Dewitt right now, ladies and gentlemen. Is that where you draw the line? Do you eating eat duty's it? gross. Yeah, eating duty's gross. I will say this. Before, Tell the kids areas. out there. Before, before I die. Oh, before I die. How was it, dude? You got two things in your hand. What are they? He's got a drink and a softball bat. <laughs> a soft drink and a soft ball. And it's actually a flashlight shaped like a softball. <laughs> <laughs> what a great invention. It would be amazing. For gym teachers. I got to go hit around the balls. No, but you sit on the bench all <laughs> day long, so why not just do why don't you fuck a bat? Yeah, because you wait. no one will know. Did you ever see that ref who was beating his meat on fucking television? What? What are you? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you yeah. remember that? The football ref. Oh, he was like going like this, yeah. beating his fucking meat yeah. while the fucking yeah. girls were doing cheerleading. He threw a flag on himself. And that guy he got, got, he got he was a security guard. Yeah, oh, that's what it was. Guard. Yeah, and then he got. Uh, he was promoted. Yeah, he, he's head <laughs> head of uh, head of uh, masturbation. A, a female body inspector. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just give him a new a new job. It's Big Johnson. He got hired at Big Johnson Sporting Goods. <laughs> They're like, we like the way you jerk him. No diggity. <laughs> or maybe, uh, or maybe a dick Sporting Goods. Ah, uh, maybe. From, uh, Wait, why don't we look up where is that guy now? What is that noise? Yeah, I heard it. It's Aaron. He's eating matzah. Aaron, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> why are you eating over there? What? There's not even a vending machine here. Uh, this guy you holding a bag of ramen in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> Just on Mike with the fucking. He's unwrapping old candies. <laughs> Were there's originals? Where? What are you eating, Aaron? Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, I can hear it. <laughs> you heard it all right. Smack it. <laughs> oh. uh, is that butterscotch? Oh, it's a frosted donut. Oh, Sounds where'd you good. get Why that? Why is it so crazy? We have them. We have them. <laughs> Do you oh like frosted donuts? Sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got me? Frost- yeah, no, what about unfrosted donuts? Stuff. So it's like a honey bun? No, it's the powdered sugar ones. Powdered sugar? But it's frosted. It implies a, a I, I misspoke. It's the powdered sugar one. Powdered sugar donut. 
We also have the frosty. You want one? Yeah, I do, but I'm fat, and I can't. I can't be doing that to myself. Yeah, he goes, I can't be doing that kind of stuff. <laughs> you sound like somebody turning like on drugs. I want like a fat per hole, right? You sound now. like a like a chick just offered to fuck you. You're like, I, I'm married. I, I was. Can't, I can't do that kind of thing anymore. I was a lot closer to dying of heart disease than I told you guys. Like it was real bad. <laughs> He's like, I was three days away from dying of heart. Disease. My doctor basically said, if you don't change your diet right now, you're gonna die of a heart attack. So, and how long did he say? He said within three hours. She said within three days. He's, Is it three days? No, she said seven days. <laughs> you got a phone call from the doctor? <laughs> and then he said, she's in the apartment. <laughs> did you stare down your doctor and say, I call your bluff? Let me see those, <laughs> let me see those titties. <laughs> I got nothing to lose. That would be, that would be the, the craziest response. She would do it. Just that she would not do it. She would. She would she'd be so, she'd be, planet. She'd be so shocked. <laughs> that she'd have no choice but to show me her titties. No, but it would be a good move because you're like, I got three days left. I'm going for broke. Let I me call, see those titties. I got your bluff. Show me a titties. If I really only have three days left, show, show me, me those titties. Because I'll be dead. I won't be able to. There was a dude at the comedy store. That's the main thing women are worried about is dudes running their mouth about this. Or you could say look at their titties you could say because you could start crying say because i'm gonna die help me out here. i'm not gonna hugh hefter my way into seeing <laughs> dr titties dr you're, titties are the best because they know how to take care of them you're Jeez, the one you call dr titties <laughs> <laughs> you're drew hefner drew hefner there was a dude at the comedy store he was sitting in the front pony like a high ponytail indian guy he was a doctor i was like i've never seen a doctor with a ponytail of any type uh, he said he was yeah. He said no, he's never seen it. I've either. seen ponytail doctor. Really never. greasy ponytail. Never seen it. What doctor did you go to with a greasy, <laughs> ponytail? Doctor, greasy ponytail? Because now bend over real quick. <laughs> I gotta check your uh, under tackle on your butt. Hold on, let me put a scrunchie in. It's getting in my uh, eyes. There's plenty <laughs> long haired doctors. Are there, dude? Yeah, I had a lawyer that had a ponytail, big long ponytail. Good lawyer. Yeah, he got me out of some stuff. It was pen. He was. Uh, we had a lawyer on retent on retainer. It was pen on retention. It was it's, uh, I got to use them for occasional uh, problems I had with the law. Itchy Keen says Andrew's looking sexy and slim. Go get one of those hey, donuts. Hey, yeah, I can't. Yeah. I can't. Thanks, Itchy. <laughs> but you I've know been, what you should keep doing is becoming healthy and then getting back to that. You're gonna have a heart attack within three days. Line. Why? I'm Why? just saying. It motivates. You. Yeah, you keep doing that. Just, and you Goggins fucking... sees a doctor every morning, and they say you're going to have a heart attack if you don't run 18 miles. He goes, well, then i got to do it. I'm going to prove you wrong. Tell me, doc. <laughs> <laughs> Show me those titties and tell me how far i got to run. <laughs> Show me those tits real quick, and I'm going to run. It's like an old man doctor. He goes, well, if you insist. <laughs> and he pulls out these floppy old man tits. Can you imagine if you if you somehow drugged Goggins, then put him in like a box where he couldn't do any workout for like 24 hours? I'd yeah. lose it. You'd freak the fuck out. Or if you made yeah. a, you kidnapped yeah. him and yeah. made him fat. Because it's not working out, right? <laughs> you freak the fuck out because it's not working out. Not because he got kidnapped and thrown in a box and drugged. That would be part of it. <laughs> what no. the fuck? No, he'd be like, I can get out of this, but I Imagine, can't overtake. <laughs> Imagine how scared Chester Cheetah would be if you didn't give him Cheetahs for 24 hours and so you locked him into the basement with the chainsaw right by his head. <laughs> and you cut him every now and then just to show him you were really, you meant <laughs> <laughs> ah, fucking unbelievable. <laughs> Why doesn't Goggins start doing that David Blaine shit? Like in a box with no food or water for While seven he, days. And he runs. You need Hold to do your it. breath. I guarantee you'd see that wind to go again. I'll see him again tonight when I summon him. Hey, if you do, you're going to keep us in in touch about this. You can keep us yeah. posted. <laughs> you think I see this thing again? I'm like, oh, by the way, guys, you know, a few months ago. Yes, you would, you dumbass. <laughs> you, would, you have ADD. You you would you would contact the spirit world and forget about it. <laughs> That's true. And I then would. like a year no, later, oh, you're yeah. like, oh shit, I've been talking to him every day. <laughs> <laughs> Who in the comments wants a Wendigo name? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Only O'Neill can give those. That's true. Chimp he has to fall asleep and then this wake up. Chimp McWindow Steve. I think he's going to say <laughs> Chimp Gorilla. I was, what it I, I was. Chimp Gorilla. Mad, <laughs> mad face with horns. Fake Steve. Chimp Gorilla Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> no, it's Chip Gorillasteed, Man Face, Horde, <laughs> Fagsteed. It's up for grabs. Who wants it? Who wants it? Who you wants get it? it? Want another First, one? Comment. I hear First comment. You get it. 
Who wants it? Come on. Go once with Horn Gorilla Steen. Go once. Yeah, go once. <laughs> was it Chip Man Face? No, it was Chip Gorilla Man Face fa- uh, Fangstein. Is that, Horny Fangstein. Is that Chimp Man Face Gorilla Steen? No, it's, it's Chimp Gorilla Man Face uh, Fanged Hornstein. Bob Eubanks gets it. He says, I please. I please. And it goes to Eubanks. And the eyes <laughs> have it. What was it again? It was chimp gorilla man face <laughs> horny fangs <laughs> the fuck what was that congratulations to bob eubank are we with the wind to go right now <laughs> he might be take out your maybe phone. i'm take the wind to go <laughs> maybe i'm not even I real consult my fucking very feminine tarot card app. take out your window go uh your window go reader what if you had to fill me with lard in order to get to the ryan that's trapped inside maybe i'm actually uh, what if you saw me drive away and all of a sudden I looked back and I was the fucking face with the horns and the fangs? What if I saw you driving away and then I saw you in the trunk of your car going, "Help me!" Would you would you pour the the lard? <laughs> You're like, "Hey, I need I need eighty gallons of lard." Yes, I'd knock on your uh, apartment door and tell your wife I need to pour eighty gallons of boiling lard on your husband. <laughs> do you have any tarps? <laughs> you may want to lay them out. She'd go, "What kind of stove do you have that you can eat up eighty gallons of lard?" <laughs> We're gonna do this in an uh, electric kettle, one <laughs> one liter at a time. But it would get cold by the time the third <laughs> gallon was it would smell done. great. Out. No, we pour one liter at a time okay would you tie would you have to tie the person up or you just let i don't know how you tie up a windigo exorcism yeah but what if i what if you were doing it and all of a sudden i was gone but then your wife walked out of the bedroom and you didn't know whether your wife was your wife or the windigo someone wants me to do the tarot card app on you again all right a a retry yeah can you do it twice is that do i have to touch you yes can i touch your thigh this time if the kiss is beard (laughs) for a few minutes (laughs) oh (laughs) <laughs> what? what's wrong with oh, Aaron's getting up again what's going on over there? he's getting horny again oh he, Aaron went as that security guard that jerked it on the sidelines for Halloween Aaron just puked into the garbage barrel that donut oh he's did. binging and purging <laughs> oh. on one donut <laughs> hey I don't know what he's into one donut dude it's softball season all right all right so do you, you want a multi-card you? do you want a multi-card give me reading? the multi-card oh shit all right all right here we go this determines my fate this is you want past present or future or the spirit spread yeah, well, you know I like spirit, spirit spread. Spirit spread? Does that come with logs? We're doing the spirit no, spread. I think spirit spreads. Uh, Go ahead and click riffle on this three times. What is then, this riffle? Three times? Yeah, three times. Riffle. riffle. You're shuffling the cards. Okay. Riffle. It's a long think riffle. Think about this. Win- I have to do you it three do it times? Again. Do it again. Hit it's it again. Not, okay. Riffle. Um, what's the spread? Is this like you can gamble on this? No, this is a spirit spread. It's Over like, under. Is this a real window go? All right. Then after that, I'm going to have you cut the deck. How do I cut it? Oh, you there click it is. the cut button. Cut the okay. cheese. And I know that you're gonna wanna. You feel weird about touching my phone, so you're gonna. You, I'll you let to, you sanitize afterwards. Yeah. I won't be offended. You have to lick. What the do screen? I do? Just pick a card. Pick, yeah, pick, pick one a, to go on top. Pick and then a, where it did goes. Did you say when to go on top? Yeah. There you go. All right. Okay. Oh shit. Hold on. Wait. Andrew's wearing a dress right now. I just he lit incense. Sanitize my pinky. I know, and I'm not offended. He goes, because I know it's filthy as fuck. It's not filthy as it's fuck. That's, well, to- that's a toilet phone. The, con- no, the content is. I'm not allowed a, to take it in the do toilet. Do you have a separate anymore. toilet phone? Yeah, I he's do. Got a, it just got toilet paper stuck It's a toilet it. droid. He's got a burner hidden under his <laughs> sink. Well, we got a lot of weird shit going on in this. Oh, oh boy. Oh. Okay, so we've got. Wait, let me check the time. We've got time. All right, so on the under the earth section of the spirit, okay. this card represents the physical and material qualities of the person or situation. All right. The situation. From okay, Jersey look Shore. to this card for information about physical health and all aspects of wealth, such as inheritance, property, and real estate. Six of Cups. <laughs> what year is this? You've probably heard the phrase random acts of kindness. Yeah. These are those small, unexpected gestures that put a smile on someone's face, like allowing an elderly person to take a seat on the bus or feeding a parking ticket meter on so some stranger doesn't get a ticket and then kiss okay. it have you been practicing kindness if not you might want to try it if someone has been kind to you recently be sure to pass it along i have the six of cups is a reminder to hang on to the good memories and not get too jaded or negative the way you view the world okay if there isn't enough kindness in your life maybe you need to create some okay. for yourself okay get money to spend money right <laughs> All right. Get pussy to give pussy. This is air. 
So this card represents the mental aspects of the situation. All right. Five of Wands. The Five of Wands shows up in your reading. It probably means you are dealing with some kind of chaotic situation. Whoa. Involving other people. Whoa. Family, coworkers, friends, whoever it is. Okay. They aren't playing nice together. Okay. Are you? <laughs> okay. Maybe you could be the peacemaker, one who makes people feel better. Maybe the situation can't be resolved. Or maybe you can uh, make people behave more responsibly by making sure you're not making things worse, by letting go of your ego or pride. Ooh, okay. All right. So that is the mental aspect of the situation. What's the, Is this the spiritual now? I'll tell you in a second. It's the sexual. <laughs> it's the mobile. Let me, let my phone this represents. <laughs> oh, my God. You don't know what I just drew. What did you this draw? This represents the strength of character of the person. Okay. This represents the card. This card represents your strength of character that's in you right now. Uh-oh. The devil. No, it does yeah, not. It does. Ah! Ah! The devil. Ah! The devil. Ah! <laughs> what does the devil stand for in your life? Ah! What holds you back? What are you looking at clearly at all the aspects in your life if the devil card represents a person who is bad for you? Or is oh. it you? Ooh, what? No matter what this <laughs> card stand for, stands uh -oh. for, it represents that you might need to make some changes. Ch -ch -ch to what? To allow changes. the devil to, to, to get closer to the devil? I don't know. Oof. We need to bring the in The devil that. made you do it? I don't think so. That's what it says. Ooh, no girl. No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was the wind dingo. Oh, honey. No, he didn't. Uh, it can represent... Uh, Bad habits, obsessions, Ooh, unhealthy that. decisions that we cling to too long. It can help uh, That's true. a scary or hopeless card. Scary or hopeless card. Often hold on to the devil. You often put up with a misery. And so I have to hold, I'm holding on to the devil? You don't have to hold on to the devil. But it says let go of the devil. What if yes, you're riding on a motorcycle, can. though, and you have to hold on to the Water. Devil? This is the emotions, page of pentacles. Uh-oh. Is that like a pentagram? Is there someone young or young at heart who is depending on you at work or in some kind of financial way? This could represent one or more of your children. Whoa. If you have children. Yes, or it my could children be, are depending on me. <laughs> if this card represents you, have you been considering starting a new career? Ooh. This is happening What if a week from again? now I'm doing all this work? So, so that's <laughs> totally crazy. crazy. Go, hey, guys, I'm out of here. All right, and this is uh, this is crazy. This is at the center. This is a spirit. It's so crazy because these are all the things I contemplated all weekend. This card may be a suggestion that you need to rest and refresh your spirit. Ooh, I've been thinking about that too. Swords. Giving yourself time to renew your body, mind, and spirit. Alternatively, it could indicate that you are stuck in a rut. Yeah. Spinning your wheels. Should you be taking action? Are you tired? I am tired. Are you overwhelmed? Mm, no. But I am tired. Do you need a rest <laughs> or do you need a wake-up call? I need I, to, I need to take a rest and then get a wake-up call <laughs> in the morning. That's what it said, but the devil appeared in your reading. The devil is So he's high. there. The Wendigo visited me for a reason. He says, but that's your strength. Is the devil. Yeah. Is the fact that I'm close to the maybe, devil. Maybe yeah. it's a good Wendigo <laughs> battling the devil. Maybe hey, uh, it's your no. guardian. Your guardian. It seemed pretty scary to you, right? The Wendigo is the devil, yeah. Especially when he peeked around the corner. The look on his face was just like scary. <laughs> Maybe. And it was a call to action. Is something telling you to embrace the darkness? No. Jordan with two O's says he's got Aaron's rookie tarot card. Well, oh really? Is that true? That's is Aaron he signed said. it? That's I've what got he no said. I got Nolan Ryan's really uh, tarot card. <laughs> <laughs> you should make baseball tarot cards. Nine of the crossover. <laughs> <laughs> Tops tarot card. Baseball tarot cards. Ten of balls. No, Nolan Ryan. Ten of balls in his mouth. Oh, he did gay stuff. Soft of balls. Oh, it's all it's all gay <laughs> baseball player <laughs> tarot puns. <laughs> tarot porter. <laughs> that would be crazy. Oh, humping we have animals. A hey, don't call <laughs> anybody. <laughs> Aaron, you have a delivery. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be making a few more trips to the bathroom, huh? <laughs> Aaron, somebody literally just dropped off humping animals coloring book to you. <laughs> well, I got to go grab it. I got to pull it and just show people in the big 
picture. Aaron, in the picture. What in the fuck is going on here? Mr. McFeely. Just the came. devil is here. I'll be able to adult coloring book. <laughs> Aaron, you're going to have a good time uh, coloring in that ram cock. Does it say buy somebody? Is there, there's a credit on there. Who wrote it? Aaron. Read it. Who's it by? What if it's it is by Aaron? John T. John T. John That's T. What? And Catherine T. MacArthur. <laughs> yeah, but whenever Aaron calls me, it comes up as John T. Let me see if there's some good ones. Is in. that John Titty? That could be John Little. John yeah, T. Little? I'm doing uh, adult coloring books now. What is this? Let's that is it. three dogs fucking. Let me see it. <laughs> well, you can't see shit on that. Oh. There's no white balance. You got to step yet. back. There yeah, go. there you go. It's three dogs. Is that a... <laughs> Those are golden retrievers. <laughs> three golden retrievers fucking. Aaron, can you color one of these and we'll, we'll show it next Isn't week? that in the Christmas song? Three dogs are humping. Oh, we need to put out a, a fucking crazy coloring book. I could do the line art and you guys yeah. can come up with the crazy three shit. Three Christmas d animals humping. <laughs> Oh, we got, uh, those are deer, right? Uh, is Elk. It, hey, Aaron, is ATC tight with any um, uh, small uh, printing <laughs> presses? Small small sub shops? Not that I know of. Okay. Um, why don't we do There's a bunch in Los Angeles? Why don't Angeles. we do a Christmas wizard humping coloring book? Christmas wizard humping? W <laughs> wizard fucking. We got a classic chihuahua fucking a chicken. Uh, this is crazy. <laughs> Aaron, is this what this you do in your is what you do in your spare thing. time? Is this their therapy? Dude, Apparently this is the Wendigo. The start. The Wendigo brought this. Why did he give this to you? That, that, you're I have no idea. Mike of being the Wendigo. <laughs> the Wendigo motivated him to bring it in. Um, it, they got this money on this on Wendy Go Go. <laughs> this guy make, can't fucking stop. John T also did an adult coloring book called Make Life Your Bitch. Turn stress into success. Yeah. Success. Yeah. I mean, he puts the suck in success. Your mechanic charging you too much? Try sucking his dick. <laughs> Two frogs fucking. That's not how frogs fuck. Raccoon though. fucking a tree. Uh, yeah, they probably have birds. Oh, fucking. Look at those giraffes fucking. Do they have oh. birds in there fucking? Because they have to use their cloaca. Remember Let's see. from uh, Boner City. We got uh, two more dogs fucking. Two hairy dogs with beer cans all around them. Two elephants fucking. What? what are you going to do with this book? The Aaron? centerfold is Aaron playing softball with just a jog strap. Oh, and it's just, it looks <laughs> softball players fucking. <laughs> <laughs> what are you looking up, Andrew? Oh, I'm trying to find a picture of a, a raccoon because I had a Wendigo raccoon encounter. When was this? What? You saw a raccoon and you're like, ah, it's a Wendigo. <laughs> yeah, it's the spirit of the Wendigo. Um, all right, well. I wonder where he got this and why he wanted to give it to Aaron on air on the show I don't know. <laughs> look at this what does that say andrew and those sand? all you need is love and the beach and it's two turtles fucking on beach. yeah two yeah. turtles fucking is this what the wendigo looks like no <laughs> that's a raccoon <laughs> by your car <laughs> it's not my car <laughs> he goes but it's ah, on my street. it jokes on you it's not my car <laughs> it was on my street look at this dream look at that dreamy boy right there Oh, it's a pig dreaming about fucking another pig <laughs> uh, that's true i wonder if they do dream about that I dream of pig. Someone sent me a hilarious. Uh, this was 2018. Imagine what John T's been up to since. A hilarious video of uh, um, a uh, a bison eating uh, another uh, lady bison's pussy, and then <laughs> going like this. This is like smelling. This is a coloring book. No, it was a, real. It was a video. It was on like National Geographic. Is that a zoo? Like, like how you're like he was eating. He's like he's going down. Let me see if you just pull licking. It up. Do animals eat that? Animals eat pussy. They lick the. They'll lick your butt. Uh, bonobos. Yeah, they, they bonobos do have oral sex. They're the, the only ones that fuck for. They'll fuck. By the way, they fuck children. Bonobos dress up as bison uh, one time a year. <laughs> He savors her readiness with a lip curl. Why does it sound like Jocko uh, Wilnick with a Yeah, child? that's what cows do. <laughs> oh, <laughs> look at that expression. Oh, look at that. He had that look on his face go, yeah, she's ready. <laughs> yeah. Bonobos are crazy, though, because they, they fuck to get, uh, no matter what, to get someone to leave them alone, they fuck them. If a child's misbehaving, they'll fuck the child. It's yeah, crazy. I saw he savors the, the thing flavor with a lip curl. <laughs> all right I, I was uh at my house and uh a bison was eating pussy he, said, and he, saw, me, pussy, he, saw, me, he saw me eat pussy and he said oh boy 
It's Costumer Dildor. <laughs> it's Costumer Wilnick. When he saw me say for the readiness with he, my he curl of the lip. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> he, said, <laughs> he said, oh, no. <laughs> when we switch over, we got a new Patreon theme song. Oh, shit. Start the show. Oh, all right. Well, it's we're a, only a few minutes away. It says, dance, Patreon dance. So what do you think about this Wendigo message, man? Um, what, the coloring book? I love it, and I'm not scared of anything anymore. Really? I'm ready to embrace the Wendigo and go on a fantastic journey with them. Come I want to go on a creative journey with the Wendigo. I might not even show up to on Friday to record. Sorry, guys. Got a taco truck now. <laughs> I got a taco truck of Wendigo meat. Yeah, eat the meat of the Wendigo. Or it could be, it could be the pickle truck. <laughs> Wendigo taco. The pickle yeah. pickle truck. When when to go? When to go? When to go? When to tacos? When to go tacos? <laughs> to go or when to go? Made with one hundred percent. That is the question. Hot. Uh, we're made with one hundred percent when to go meat. And then hot it, demon meat. Is there anybody an uh, that says hot dog meat? I might do it. <laughs> is there anybody that has a chupacabra tacos? Uh, I don't. It's probably, all goat. Probably it's a place goat. in Mexico. Chupacabra goat tacos. Oh, I didn't tell you this. I went downtown to go get uh, barbacoa. You know. Uh-huh. Uh, me and uh, David Taylor, somebody who's recently asking oh. what happened to him. Here's the deal. And Nick Youssef, we went down deep downtown to like a repair garage that uh, on a Sunday was turned into just a barbacoa place. It's a chop, sl- chop shop slash taco shop. And we were eating fucking goat head and everything. So and there's a uh, chupacabra taco in San Diego, California. Well, there's not one up here. Uh-oh. In uh, Greenwood, Seattle. El Chupacabra Green. Maybe I should call it El Chupacabro. Or Chupacabras. Braziers. You can follow him on uh, El Chupacabra Tacos on Instagram. What if I have a Chupacabra and my Chupacabra has big fat tits? What about Stupid Cabra? And it's like it's a guy stupid. who's like, oh, he wants a taco? He's just a dumb Chupacabra? <laughs> <laughs> stupid. He, he, stupid He's cobra. got his dick in a taco shell. He goes, what do oh. I do now? Do you want to eat this? Do I eat it? <laughs> you want to eat it or you want to fuck it? Some? Maybe it's just Chupacabra <laughs> dick. I got 50 eat. Chupacabras in the back. <laughs> maybe that's what I call it. I go, maybe I'll have fancy names for the meat chupacabra dick when dingo pussy <laughs> that's a crazy food truck by the way chupacabra dick when dingo pussy yeah. what else do you sell harry potter ass Loch Ness monster butthole this is, sounds like a wesley willis song i saw a huge sign uh, i was driving uh, the other day that said girls come before boys oh for with real? a u for, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, on a billboard? Uh, no, it was just like on, you know, uh, like uh, a construction. Guys. Like, uh, <laughs> was someone spray painted it? No, it was like a poster. It was like, there was a, a bunch What was of the them. picture of? I think it was a woman. I was agree with that, though. The woman, I won't. I just put all the energy into making her come. Then I can relax. Well, yeah, because it, it takes a little while to get. Plus, you don't want to put a cummy dick back in the pussy. You know? What about a cummy bear? <laughs> Would you do it? <laughs> Would you pull a cummy bear out of the pussy? <laughs> yeah, if I had left one in there, you better believe me. Oh, you said, oh, I'm going to get sick. <laughs> Would you eat it and smack your lips? Uh, yeah. All right, we're switching over. Uh-oh. Oh, let's play the switch hold over on. song. Here we go. I got to hold the phone. Hold Woo. The phone. Cut here, Ryan. Patreon time. I think I'm rise in here. He's going to hear his song. You want the spicy version or the regular? I want to hear both. Both, but there's not spicy much. First. There's not much. We're switching difference. over to the Patreon. Goodbye. Uh oh. You guys know what that means? It's about to get naughty on the Patreon side. Wait, when you see my belly, it's time to cut. <laughs> It's like this. It's Patreon. <laughs>